exam style questions of chapter number 8 of your book. In question number 7, you have been asked to declare a two-dimensional array. A two-dimensional array not only goes in one direction like this, it goes in the second direction like this also. Uh, it will store first names and family names. First names and family names means first names will be stored in the first column and family names will be stored in the second column of 10 people. 10 people means there will be 10 rows in this array, in this table. Write a program in pseudocode. Pseudocode means you do not need to write the actual code to display the first name and family name of the 10 people. You are, uh, you are supposed to assume that uh, names have already been written over here and you just have to display those uh, names that are already written in the array. So this this is part, uh, this is the first part. Uh, let me show you the uh, pseudo code. Uh, you have to declare an array name which is named as names, and the array will have the the first uh, it will have ten rows starting from one to ten, and it will have two columns starting from one to two. It will be of type string because it will save names. Uh, then you have to declare a variable, an empty space in the uh, memory which is named as counter and uh, it will um, uh, be, be in the form of integer which, which means it will be in the form of whole numbers. Index will be the pointer to, to this array. It will start from 1 and it will go till 10. So this uh, index is the, uh, will be the pointer of this array. Next, uh, you have to display uh, the first and uh, family names. So, uh, in order to display those names, you will start from first index. You will uh, repeat until 10th. Uh, uh, you will keep on repeating until 10th in index. Uh, first, from first column, first name will be picked. And from second column, uh, family name will be picked. And this will display a string named first, uh, the, uh, it will mention first name along with the first name. And this string will mention the family name along with the uh, sec, uh, family name. So uh, the output will, will be something uh, like this. Uh, first name and the first name will be mentioned in front of it. Suppose the first name is Ahmed and the family name is so first name will be mentioned, uh, the first, first of all first name will be written like this, then Ahmed will be written, then family name will be written and then family name Ali will be written with it. This is how all 10 names will be displayed. In part B you have to extend your program, you, you need to order the family names in, uh, in an ascending order. So this second column will be uh, arranged in an ascending order also in order to make that change array will be same array will be same and um, just we have to declare first uh, two new variables named first and last then we will declare a, uh, a swap a variable named swap will, will, which will either have a false value or a true value then we will declare two variables, temp1 and temp2. If any name will uh, need to be ordered, if any names need to be ordered, they will temporarily be saved in these two variables. First name will be saved in temp1, second name will be saved in temp2. Then we will declare that first is a constant, it, it will have a constant, uh, and first will have a starting value of 1, last will have a starting value of 10. We will keep a, a start a loop. Loop means we will start a series of repetition in which swapping will be false initially and index will start um, going from 10, uh, 1 till 9. It will uh, check the whole list from 1 till 9. Let me explain the situation of these, uh, uh, this swapping. Uh, suppose the first and the first name was Ahmed Zafar and the second name was Muhammad Ali, Z will have a greater value as compared to A. So 
this row ahmed zafar will temporarily be will ahmed will be saved temporarily in a variable named temp1 and this zafar will be temporarily saved in a variable named temp2 let me and this name which was smaller uh, a has a smaller value than a uh, than z this will be shifted towards the first index and then these temporary temporary variables ahmed will be shifted to the second row and zafar will be shifted to the second row like this uh, in order to turn the second list into an alphabetical order the name at, at index uh, 1 plus 1 from second column will be shifted uh, upwards like we have uh, shifted ali upwards and uh, then in, in, in the next step, the name at, at index 1 uh, of first column and will be shifted upwards like we have shifted Muhammad over here in, in, uh, uh, to the uh, upwards. Uh, to, uh, to upwards. So uh, now the name at temp 2 will now be shifted at index plus 1 position. This is index plus 1 position. So temp two, uh, in temp 2, we had saved uh, Zafar. It will be saved at index plus 1 position uh, and name at temp 1 will be shifted uh, over here at index plus 1 position. That is how the swapping takes place. Uh, the value of swap has become uh, true because swapping has taken place and if has ended over here now. Uh, this loop will uh, now check the next index because only first and second uh, index uh, have, uh, uh, indices have been uh, checked. The reason for decrementing uh, the value of last on every loop can be well explained through this website. This is stockoverflow.com and somebody has answered this question really well. Let me show you that on every iteration, uh, when the uh, two numbers are sw swapped, the uh, lesser number comes to the first position and the larger number go goes to the next position. So every time the lesser number is swapped, it takes the first position and the larger number takes the second position. This keeps going on and on every iteration, the largest number goes to the end. Now this time 7th has gone to the end. So uh, every time the value of last will be decremented by 1 and rest of the numbers will keep on swapping places till the uh, last uh, highest number of the rest of the numbers that is 6 will come to the third last position. Um, the value of last will be decremented by 1 on every iteration.